वेलकम टू इट्स टुमारो न्यूज आई एम हेना तलाटी टेक्सस ब्रेसिस फॉर हीट वेव आफ्टर डेडली टोर्नेडो Millions of the people in Texas are bracing for extreme temperatures over the weekend just days after the tornado killed 3 people in the state. Temperatures have been climbing since Thursday when a major storm system swept the southern United States also causing deaths in Florida and Mississippi. Power is cut off for 400,000 customers in the south as of Friday evening. Officials warn that the brutal heat will strain power grids as residents run their air conditioners. The extreme temperatures come as the United States prepares to celebrate the Juneteenth holiday on Monday, a federal holiday. The National Weather Service issued a heat advisory until Sunday warning people in Texas that the temperatures could feel as hot as 110 degrees Fahrenheit at times. Cities across Texas have opened up cooling centers for the vulnerable residents. As the damage of the storm subsides on Saturday evening, the risk of extreme heat across the region will remain, the NWS said. The heat comes with the week to go before the summer season officially begins on 21st June. In the small Texas town of Periton, one person died in a mobile home park and two others were killed when the tornado devastated the town area on the thursday evening at least 30 mobile homes in the parry town population 8000 took a direct hit from the tornado and were damaged or destroyed said the local fire chief over 100 people have been treated for injuries in the hospital More than 50 million people across the large swath of the United States are under a severe weather threat Friday one day after the storm cut a deadly path across the Texas, Florida and Mississippi. A person in Florida died after being trapped under a tree that fell on their home as Cambia County officials said. The county which includes Pensacola was hit by the flash flooding emergencies overnight leading to high water rescues the national weather service in mobile alabama reported early friday citing local rescuers widespread and significant flash flooding was continuing in the west pensacola warrington and gulf breeze escambia county emergency management said Numerous roadways remain flooded with the water entering several structures emergency officials said nearly 150 residents of the apartment complex in the Pensacola were moved amid the rising water friday morning and taken to a community center for shelter county officials said Warrington just south of the Pensacola got nearly a foot of rain in just 3 hours Radar estimates indicate as much as 16 inches of the rain fell overnight and more was expected on Friday. A flash flood watch is in effect for area until 7 p.m. local time. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news. For more global weather updates like this, subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates.